I think it's growing because here it's real and it's authentic. I think we live in a day and age where there's so much fighting for your attention that um, a lot of, at least our generation, has um, learned to have a good sense of what's real and what's not. And we're hungry for what's real. And so when we come here, like, that's the sense that we get. And it's very attractive. It's something we want to be a part of because there's a lot of things that aren't real in the world. And here we found something that is. We just have a big influx of people. And with more people comes more kids. Um, and so our kids ministry is blowing up and our youth group is blowing up. And, you know, it's, it's really great. And I think the more people, the better. It's important to plan now uh, for that. To, to be ready to, to, to reach the community at large. Well, and there's something different too about inviting someone to your home when you actually have a building to invite them to, as opposed to inviting them when you meet in a school. Now, it is great. We make it as inviting as possible, but there is something different about inviting people to a church that has a building. Hey, church family, just over five years ago, Tribes Church launched with a vision to help people find and follow Jesus and to bring others along on that journey into community. As you know, when people come together, we like to call that finding your tribe. Since then, we've held services in a few locations and we've grown to where we are today. And God is blessing our people and our community in a big way. This year, we've seen our attendance grow significantly in our weekly services, as well as in Tribes Youth on Sunday nights. But more importantly, we've seen 12 people go public with their faith in Christ through baptism this year alone, and the year isn't even over yet. Now is the time for our church to move into another phase, to expand our space and facilitate more ministry in our community by building on our property on FM 407. As you know, our community is exploding with growth, and as more homes get built, we know that there will be filled with more people who need to know the love of Jesus. We need to respond now to meet the demand of so many new people and new families coming to our area. As you know, we're stepping out in a giving initiative called Multiply. And as part of that greater plan to create and expand our ability to serve others as they come to Christ and begin to worship with us. Multiply isn't just about a building. It's about life change. It's about each of us joining together to reach our neighbors for Jesus. Now we've been working on our design and I'm so excited to share these images of what that facility will look like with you. So come with me now and imagine what we can accomplish together. This is what the future holds for us here at Tribes Church. invites us to participate in his work. And when Paul says, you know, he who, who gives uh, uh, bountifully will reap bountifully, he who sows sparingly will, will reap sparingly, we should give it's, it's, as it's proposed in our heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. 
Yeah, I think if we really look at like, multiplying effectively and intentionally, it's, it starts with just finding something that's bigger and outside of yourself. Right? I know that's where um, we found a lot of joy is in these ways that we serve with the intention being of helping multiply where we can. We found something bigger than ourselves. Tribes, it's time to get ready for something special. This is about the future and expanding to meet the needs of our community, and we need your help. First, we need everyone praying for this project, that everything goes smoothly as we make plans to multiply our ministry and build our phase one multi-purpose building. But I also wanna ask you to pray about how God wants you to participate financially and to step out of your comfort zone as you plan to give in faith. Next, I wanna ask everyone at Tribes Church to make two commitments throughout the Multiply initiative. The first one is this, each one, reach one. Ask God to show you a neighbor or friend who you can share the gospel with and help disciple between now and when we move into this new building. Imagine the impact in our community if all of us helped reach someone for Jesus in the coming years. Each one, reach one. Number two, I wanna ask that each one give some. Now here's the most important number that we all need to know, 100%. If 100% of this church body would give something, God will multiply it to accomplish more than we can imagine. Now God may have blessed you with much, or you may be in a season of little. Just give according to what God lays on your heart. But let's all get involved. Let's all step out in faith as He leads us. Now as your pastor, I'm so excited about this vision, and I'm expecting God to multiply our efforts and our reach in this community. I wanna personally thank you for your generosity as we expand into this whole new level of ministry. It's now time for us to rise up, to multiply, and to be used to accomplish great things here at Tribes Church.